Welcome, bub, to Movie Monday here on the Ruby Tuesday. We are reviewing Logan. Let me start by admitting that I am not a huge X Men fan. I didn't grow up with the comics or the TV series, so although I like them, they've never really felt like family to me, unlike some others on our team. Yeah. I loved them as much as I, when I was growing up and was so much more invested in the characters and the storylines. But this film actually had me mesmerized. For the first time, I felt like the characters could be their R rated selves. By all accounts, Wolverine is a much darker and scarier character than had previously been depicted in the cinematic Marvel Universe. So when Deadpool got an R rated film and then proceeded to clean up at the box yeah. office, we guess film executives felt confident enough to give the green light for Wolverine to do the same. This film sees a far more realistic portrayal of our heroes. And by realistic, we don't necessarily mean uh, true to the X-Men universe of comics, graphic novels and TV shows, but more true to actual human life, which is probably why I was able to connect so much more deeply with this film. Now some fans, some fans, <laughs> now some fans might actually hate this. To see the heroes you have loved become frail and fallible can be unsettling to say the least. Yeah, but we found that the relationship between Professor X and Wolverine was so beautiful. As Hugh Jackman describes it, the actors were allowed to just really run in the paddock and show off their exceptional talent as they created this doomed road trip Thelma and Louise type relationship that had you wishing and hoping but deep down knowing that a happy ending might just be unattainable. The film is set in the not too distant future of 2029 and again has a realism to it as it doesn't stray too far into the realm of science fiction but even mentions some current issues from our time that have simply escalated and technology hasn't run too far ahead of itself either. Not like Blade Runner, a dystopian but quite plausible. Please note from this point on there will be spoilers, so if you haven't seen it yet, cover your ears, go watch the film and then come back to the spot and watch the rest and let us know what you thought. Now from the trailers it was obvious that Logan was going to be old, but what we didn't realise was that he wasn't just old, he was sick too. He is a broken reflection of the unkillable hero he once was as he struggles to make ends meet as a limo driver while trying to take care of Professor X whose incomprehensibly powerful mind has now been classified as a weapon of mass destruction. Yeah, there is even a subtle reminder of the depressed suicidal character of Martin Riggs from Lethal Weapon as Wolverine 2 keeps a bullet with him adamantium in Wolverine's case, as he contemplates ending it all just like Riggs did. Mm. In a world where mutants are all but gone, the few that remain are in hiding. Logan and the Professor X have a dream of buying a yacht and living out the rest of their days in the open seas. Cue the arrival of Laura to mess up Logan's plans. Created in a test tube and born in a lab, Laura's story is tragic and slightly horrifying. But as Professor X says it, does she remind you of someone? Crazy strong, agile and oh so very violent. Laura is like a mini young Logan full of fire and rage. She is convinced that her place mentioned in an X-Men comic book called Eden, a safe haven for all mutants, actually exists and will pay Logan $20,000 to get her there. And of course Logan needs the money but he has this moral dilemma of believing that Eden is nothing more than a fiction from a comic book. And so the story continues with the bad guys chasing the girl and Logan and the professor trying to protect her. Mm. It is heart-wrenching to see Logan's once powerful physique so vulnerable and no lo is no longer able to heal as quickly. But he is all heart and courage and raw determination. And there are plenty of scenes that will make you want to reach out and comfort these broken characters. And a few that will make you want to slap them. Yeah. You want to slap some sense into them. Overall, it's a riveting roller coaster of emotions and action, well balanced and beautifully executed. The cinematography is excellently understated and supports the telling of a story without being flashy. This is, in my opinion, a beautiful way to end the franchise. And once our hearts have healed, we'll be ready for a reboot. On that note, yeah. we are hoping that the new Wolverine, Laura, will get her own movie. And we are also equal parts hoping in or intrigued to see who will now be cast as the new hairy, angry man, this dude. 
in what is obviously the next move for the X-Men franchise, the reboot. Who do you think would be perfect for the role of Logan? Thank you for joining us at the Reboot Tuesday for Movie Monday. We hope to see you tomorrow for Tuesday Newsday. And on Sunday, I'll be looking a little bit behind the scenes and showing you how you can make old man Logan scars and semi-healed wounds using special effects makeup. So if you enjoyed Logan and want to know what else you should watch, why don't you check out our top 10 movies in March where Ruben and Gemma give you the rundown on all of that. Mm. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye from Logan. Yeah. <laughs>